السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله لقد وصلتم إلى الدرس الأخير من كتاب الثاني Well done guys, you have reached the last lesson of Medina book 2 Now this last lesson is the easiest lesson It's just like a means of celebrating and having a relaxed moment to embrace what you've accomplished so far by reaching this class and it's basically reviewing something you learned in Medina book 1 in lesson number 9 and that is the sifa mawsuf, na'atu man'ut, the adjective and the word that's being described. So we're going to go through this quickly, inshallah ta'ala, as it'll serve as a revision class, just to refresh your mind, but look at the details of this within the Arabic explanation of this rule, inshallah. So as normal, I will read this short little dialogue and then go through the points to mention. Al-Mudaras. Aina talibani al-jadidani. هما في المكتبة ذهب ليأخذ الكتب المقررة متى ذهب ذهب في الحصة الثانية يا أستاذ أريد أن أشتري معجما عربيا أريد أن تدلني على معجم جيد اشتري المعجم الوسيط فإنه معجم جيد اليوم ينتهي الجزء الثاني متى نبدأ الجزء الثالث في الأسبوع القادم إن شاء الله نقرأ اليوم الصفحتين الأخيرتين من الجزء الثاني سبحان الله So he says today we're going to read the last two pages of part two book two and we have only two pages in this lesson so here we're going to أمل ما يلي we're going back through adjective and the noun being described عندي معجم جيد هنا جيد نعت is the adjective okay النعت يتبع المنعوت في الأمور الآتية the adjective follows the noun is describing in the following um, manners matters في الإعرابي in terms of grammatical analysis يعني grammatical case ending يعني هذا كتاب جيد أو جديد so that's مرفوع قرأت كتابا جديدا منصوب because it's the مفعول به the object the, the object of the verb هذا اسم كتاب جديد هذا مضاف مضاف إليه and that's adjective for that so it takes كسرة مجرور then it's التذكير والتأنيث masculine or feminine نحو أحمد له ابن كبير ابن كبير وبنت صغيرة so gender it matches in gender. And Fadi Athalith Al Ifrad wa Tathniya wal Jama if it's singular, jewel or plural. Nahu Lana Mudirun Salihun Mudari Sani Jayidani Zumala wa Zumala u Mujtahiduna. So it has to match the adjective matches. Is it singular? It's singular. If it's plural, it's plural. If it's jewel, it's jewel. It says a ta'rif wa tankir, whether it's definite or indefinite. Nahu indi sayyara tun jadida tun indefinite. As sayyara tul jadida tu definite. Ghaliya tun. Aina Muhammadun al Yabaniyu. So Muhammad definite, it's a proper name, so it's definite. Hati daftarak daftarak al awala. Definite. This is definite because of idafa, because it's mudaf to a pronoun, so that makes it definite. Al awal describing, so it's definite. So that is the summary of all the rules, the four rules that you have to keep in place when you're trying to create the noun phrase sentence. And that's made out of the noun and the describing word. The adjective that describes and tells you about it. Um, and, if, and it has to match. All four of these things have to be in place at the same time within one noun phrase. It has to agree in all of these things for it to be considered that. Otherwise, it won't be that. For example, if we have a definite noun, and an indefinite noun after an adjective, then that becomes a khabar, mubtad wa khabar, that becomes a nominal sentence. This is not a sentence. These are noun phrases when it's na'tu um, man'ut. And the khabar will complete it. Or the, the it will be the khabar itself. So it will be a part of a sentence. The noun phrase will be a part of a sentence. So here it says, Ayyinan na'tu man'ut fi kulli mithalin mimma yati. Homework again. So you need to identify the adjective and the word being described. The, that, that noun phrase in all of these sentences bi'ithnillahi ta'ala and that exercise continues up until here up until sentence number 10 then your last exercise of the book mashallah alaykum your last exercise of the book 
is akmil kull jumlatin mimma yati bi na'atin munasibin wadbithu bi shakl so here it wants you to complete each sentence by placing a suitable adjective from yourself by now you guys should have a like a, a world of vocab ready to complete this last exercise inshallah ta'ala and that's it you're done you're actually done like allahumma barik jazakumullah khairan for keeping up this far and wallahi i ask allah to increase you and make you of those who learn and implement this arabic language in your life and it is a means that aid you in understanding the quran and the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa inshallah ta'ala araakum araakum fil kitab al-thalith wal durus yakun yani ashaddu shay an ma yani i'll see you in book three the lessons will be a bit more intense but you can do it you got this far let's finish one book left one book left of the medina series inshallah ta'ala and then we'll see what Allah has in store for us after that. Jazakumullah khairan. And may Allah grant you all success. And keep in contact. Any questions, message me via the website or via the Facebook page. My contact number, that's for the WhatsApp for the Arabic school, is also on the website. Um, review. Always review the lessons as well. And any questions, anytime, message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Insha'Allah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.